better than any girl ever has. Anyway, I've made up my mind. I'm proposing to her tomorrow. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here, Vasilich? Are you working here or not? Shit, I'm coming. Charles. Can you track Petrov's whereabouts? Unfortunately, no. Petrov is no longer broadcasting. I will track him as soon as he does. Gotcha. That means he won't do it again. That dirty, rotten scumfuck is hiding away in some dark corner, and he's gonna sit there and hope the robots kill me before I find him. I ought to warn you that Petrov knows this theater quite well. He has good reason to hope for such an outcome. Hope is dangerous. It'll lull him into a false sense of security. Give me intel on the theater. The Maya Plisetskaya Theater was founded at the facility in 1948. It was the first theater in the world to use robots as performers. It is the most famous theater in the Soviet Union, so tickets can be quite hard to come by. So it's for the rich and powerful. You have no idea. Before the theater was fully roboticized, party members would order the best ballerinas in the Soviet Union to be transferred here. But after the performers were replaced with robots, it became so successful, it's now easier to get an apartment near the Kremlin than it is to attend a performance here. Can you tell me anything more useful and less disgusting? As part of the facility, the theater is without a doubt a scientific establishment. Its artistic vein is melded with commerce, as is the study of robot behavior and human reactions to it. I have no combat-related data. How does Petrov know this theater so well? It was one of the areas his activities were focused on before he was declared a traitor. So, he's a nostalgic puppet master, huh? He configured and tested the theater's robots, and also programmed and studied the interplay of various crafts. In a certain sense, Collective was born on the stage of this theater. How'd that prick start working here? He was recommended by Comrade Stockhausen. Oh yeah, no wonder. They're both lousy pieces of shit. Pardon me, but I fail to understand why you put Comrade Stockhausen on the same level as a traitor. Hang on. How'd Petrov manage to butter up Sechenov? Did that lickspittle Stockhausen recommend him to the boss too? Victor Petrov optimized the robot control loading protocols. Data loading speed was tripled. That was when Comrade Stockhausen recommended Petrov to Dr. Sechenov. Shouldn't have done that. Let's go see what's what. Well, just do one thing for me, okay? Find that crazy son of a bitch and kill him. Deal? He killed so many innocent people. Please, I'm begging you. Raise them up. Fading data. Your cue, comrade major. Are you here to finish me off, dog? Then come on down. I am all yours. Dog. Your master sticks you on someone and you go right for the throat. <laughs> Just do me a favor. And do it. Charge, okay? What is that? Oh, 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 it's a trap. Son of a bitch! 
I'm still gonna get you! Hang on, Comrade Major. I'll try to reduce the charge. I don't care if I got a crow. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. I've reduced the charge. Are you okay, Comrade Major? I've had worse. Much worse. He's not getting away from me. robotic performers. Hello there. Buy tickets in advance for our spectacular performance, Heart of the Robot, a peaceful atom. <laughs> Doesn't seem all that peaceful to me. Emotional thrill guaranteed. The play features fine humor, epic battles, fantastic special effects, and a touch of heart-wrenching drama. And that's it? No other surprises? We prepared a special surprise for you to commemorate the launch of Collective 2.0. Crispy critters, what is it? You will personally take part in the performance! <laughs> this ballerina has been reprogrammed. Yeah, like everything else here. I gathered as much. What are you trying to accomplish here, Petrov? You will be blown away by our prima Natasha's performance. Shit. We both know how this is gonna end. Natasha's celebratory firework is the performance you will never forget.
pleased to welcome you to our roboticized theater. It's the first of its kind in the world, and it's based on your design. I've made a few little tweaks here and there, of course. Comrade Sechenov, Comrade Zaharov, please follow me. What a wonderful evening, Dmitri. What an incredible performance. I propose a toast to Vossov. Science has never been so close to, uh, triumph. I had some fun once. guys like Petrov even come from in a flourishing society like ours.
you found Petrov's trail, Comrade Major? I've driven him into a trap. He's got nowhere to run. Is Dr. Filatova with him? No, Petrov's alone. Aren't you maybe just a little too interested in what happens to her stock? You didn't happen to betray your friend because of her, did you? You just crossed the line, Major P3. I demand that you cease these outrageous insults at once. And I demand that you shut up and stop annoying me with your pointless existence. I am carrying out the order of Dr. Sechenov. Dmitry Sergeyevich wants to know when you deliver Petrov to him. Your protege has nowhere to run. He's gone nuts. He's watching me through the cameras, reciting poetry, and screaming hysterically into the loudspeaker. I'll take him alive within the hour. Try not to fail, Dmitry Sergeyevich, at least this time. Fuck you. You shouldn't behave like this. Comrade Stockhausen is blameless. He is genuinely trying to help. Yeah, right. He's genuinely trying to steal Petrov's woman. to do it. I had to. Sachinov is going to kill us all. He's toying with us and with you too. But you can't really blame him for that, I suppose. Madness and great ones must not unwatched go. Don't you agree? 
Our prima ballerina isn't ready yet. We need to tighten up her servo. She's flopping around like a rag doll on stage. Get me the technician. I tell you, these robot ballerinas are just as bad as their human counterparts. I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> what I want. I want her. I want to embrace her, to protect her, to cherish her. And no one can stand in our way. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players, and that includes me. I'm going to play my greatest role here at this theater. And my robots will assist me. It'll be the greatest show of all time. It should be us. It's a special day, a day that would become momentous indeed. And if I know which to pick, let the whole world drown in blood. We just need to survive until that moment, until the day when Collective updates to version 2.0 and shatters into a million pieces. That's when we'll take the greatest step in our lives, and the reset will be ours. Ah, yes. Yes, my precious. <laughs> well, boy, he's talking about that. <laughs> It's because you're a mirror, isn't it? <laughs>
dog! I will show you the duality of this world! It's all a matter of perspective, isn't it, P3? Do you decide what to do? Or is it decided for you? It doesn't matter which side you see things from. Top or bottom? Left or right? You brainless mutt! You'll never understand! Charles. Yes, Major. Petrov's lost his shit. Following an analysis of Petrov in light of his recent quarrel with Larissa Filatova, I have drawn the same conclusion. You analyzed him? It's a common scenario. He loved her. Their perspectives on life grew apart. She ended the relationship. He lost his mind. Huh. Makes sense, I guess. What kinds of shows do they put on here? Primarily ballet. A performance entitled Heart of the Robot, A Peaceful Atom, has been particularly popular recently. A celebratory performance is planned here in honor of the launch of Collective 2.0. Space-based programs honoring the first Soviet citizen in space will come later. We'll see. This place is pretty messed up right now. Say, are the ballerinas here? Just. Ballerinas. The topic of robosexuality is extremely popular among the Soviet elite. Robosexual lobbies have become quite powerful, and it would seem that the sale of related services is flourishing at the theater. In other words, no, the ballerinas are not just ballerinas. Do you think the boss knows about this? What do you think? Well, given the robots he's chosen as bodyguards, Guess he's a robosexual himself. According to Ozhigov's Dictionary of the Russian Language, the word robosexual is a facetious term for a person who enjoys intimate relations with machines, generally while manipulating... Okay, I get it. He can go ahead and manipulate whatever he wants. What he does with those androids of his is none of my business. But I gotta admit, they are kinda hot. Stand down for now. Hush. Please select the desired procedure. Fading data.
like how I remade this place? I, I, used, I used to run this whole place on. Although, come to think of it, <laughs> I guess I still do! <laughs> So how did you give up the ghost? Was it mutants? Electrocution, damn it! So are you the electrician? No, I'm not. But if you find the sillage, you put him down like a fucking dog. You hear me? Kill that lousy egghead son of a bitch! That yeah, will do. After he gives me the code. He keeps hammering about electricity. You know it when you meet him. Are you off your nut, Vasilich? Those party members can do whatever the fuck tickles their fancy, but you? What, you haven't got fucked enough by electricity in your life, so you want to get revenge by fucking it back? Anyway, I saw you making googly eyes at that doll in the dressing room. She's a bot, Vasilich. A robot. People keep asking me, hey, why is that electrician always in the coat check room? Why isn't he working? I ain't gonna cover your ass no more. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're making us both look bad. Retire! Get yourself a, a Katya or a Tanya. But me, I could have done the same. But I didn't. I think you died more expressively. Merci. I told you. Ha! Just what I expected from a military grunt. Go away. The 
electrician is the only one who knows the code for this door. Damn his eyes! So where do I find him? Fuck the vinyl! The electrician is the only one who knows the code for this door. Damn his eyes! Okay, that's enough. For now, anyway. Critics. I hate jobs by appointment and this entire stupid system. Smile, work, and keep nodding. I can't wait for this to be over. What, you don't like Soviet society? I don't like it when people are happy because somebody up above ordered them to be. Isn't that how it should be? Happiness is for everyone, right? That is a very one-sided way of thinking. Happiness is a unique handcrafted product. Each happiness is a personal masterpiece. It cannot be mass-produced in a facility, even if it is facility 3826. I'm kind of surprised to hear this from a concession stand attendant. More one-sided thinking? What if I have a PhD? Didn't think of that, did you? Do you think that if I work in the theater cafeteria, I'm only allowed to know things like quasi, releve, attitude, and a la seconde? You shouldn't be doing this, Nietzscheev. All I wanted was to be happy with my woman. Weren't you ever happy with yours? Do you even know what happiness is? That's mighty profound, you sick fuck, but it won't help you. How the hell could I even know if I was happy or not? I wish I did, but here we are. So, is everybody here? We got the girls, the men are here too. Uh, uh, sorry I'm late. My wife's sick. And I had to pick my kids up from daycare and... It's okay, Constantin. We get it. Have a seat. Yeah, thanks. Sorry. Well then, comrades, why have I brought you all together at such a late hour? <laughs> How much longer will we tolerate the yoke of bourgeois vice in this sacred home of art? <coughs> How much longer will the gluttonous despot fray our nerves and pull our strings like a perverted puppet master? How much longer will there be foul fingers? Uh, uh, Sorry, I got a little carried away there. What I wanted to say is, Lars Dutchkin is an asshole! But my French. But we can't just sit back while our girls and some of our boys get turned into bourgeois prostitutes. Well now, what do we have here? Boys, very good. And girls too, eh? Excellent. Arrest them. Абсолютно весь остров невезения в океане есть. Остров невезения в океане есть. 
Весь покрытый зеленью абсолютно весь. Там живут несчастные люди дикари. А на лицо ужасные добрые внутри. А на лицо ужасные добрые внутри. Там живут несчастные люди дикари. Что они делают? Не идут в дела. Видно в понедельник их мало родила. А видно в понедельник. Alive or dead, what's the difference? We're all just electrical stream, just ones and zeros. Every power outlet knows that. One, five, zero, six, zero, six, fifteen? What's that? A code or something? Are you dumb? It is the date of the new concert. Everybody knows that. Even simple electricians know that. Would a simple electrician know the door code? The code? How did it go? One moment. Top button on the right. Or was it left? The bottom. Le left one. I bet. Or was it both? Mm. Well, shit. What was it again? I've spoken. Crispy critters. was it? Zero, six, fifteen. How am I supposed to enter it? The password appears not to be a password at all.
Charles, what did you just turn on? A temporary malfunction, Major. I am now operating within normal parameters. Access granted. Saving data. Oh, you're a tough nut to crack. Oh, I can't even soften you up. 
Sechenov says, stick him, and you can't disobey. That's fine. Solve my puzzle, P3. I'll try to reach you one last time. Release your creativity. Use the right side of your brain. Paint pictures of the future. And you'll see where Sechenov's real plan is going to take us. You'll find the campus right here. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Uh, I don't really get this stuff. Want to give it a whirl, Charles? Classe in the fifth position, arms in the third position. Done already? Oh my, you're talented. This isn't new to you, though, is it? Do you want to see okay, the same that's scenes enough. repeated all around us? Or would you rather choose clear sky, carefree birdsong, and all the comforts of home? Unless you want to hear the heavy footfalls of the robot army marching against mankind, stand <clears throat> down. I don't know what you mean, Comrade Major. The chirper you found is broken and silent. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah, Charles, do me a favor and give the lady a command, would you? I... I don't know what she wants. Releve on the toes, croisse in the fourth position, big arms in an allongé. That's enough of that. Initiated. Please enter a command. Yeah, Charles, do me a favor. Debug mode initial. Yeah, Charles, do me a favor. First arabesque. Try another one. Attitude. Try another one. Releve in the fifth position. If I say. Arms upright and loose in an alloy. Eyes of light with sunset. That's enough of that. Now comes the dark. Sechnov thinks he can control all of Collective, but he can't. No one can control a power like this. Tell me, P3, why do you assume that these robots kill? For no reason? Because I'm evil incarnate and I program them that way? <sighs> Think again. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. Your move, Charles. I'm kinda out of my depth here. Quasse in the fourth position. Anything else worth checking out? Releve in the fingers. Anything else worth checking out? Releve in the fingers. Anything else worth checking out? 
attitude. Anything else worth checking out? On your nemesis, and he'll be within your grasp soon enough. Batemol tendu alms free. Smiles and rainbows. Anything else worth checking out? You have no idea Attitude. how serious your real enemy is. Enough for now. Not even off truly understands it. What you're all really going to end up with is emptiness, powerlessness, and a mushroom cloud, and the uncomfortable feeling that you've been had. Debug mode initiated. Please enter a command. This is your time to shine, Charles. You're a smart-ass machine, right? Well, we got some smart-ass commands for you to figure out. A la seconde. Arms free. Open your eyes and see the truth. We're done here. Dog. Why can't you see the obvious? Collective will be the death of us all. Sechnov is nothing but a self-indulgent fool. Fine. You win. The time has come. I'll open the final door for you. Come on stage, hero, and dazzle our choice public with your creativity. This was supposed to be a real show, but now no one will ever see it except a stray dog. Yeah, Charles, why is that head case whining about how Collective is gonna kill us all? I can't stop thinking about it. Could Collective really be dangerous? Of course not. Collective cannot be dangerous. That's all there is to it. Only its owner can be dangerous. You mean his discretionary authority? Indeed. It exists. There is no getting around it. The Alpha Connector, the one that gives you total control over Collective. There's only one of them. You said that yourself, right? Indeed. What conclusion do you draw from that? As long as Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector, we got nothing to worry about. Is that so? Of course. Dr. Sechenov is as honest as the day is long. He's a hero of the Soviet Union, a genius who made our country what it is today. You know the boss better than me, Charles. I sincerely hope you're right. What's that supposed to mean? It means that too much has happened over the last 24 hours. All these events force one to see things from a different perspective. Like what? Consider this. What will happen if the Alpha Connector winds up in the hands of a man who wants to enslave the entire world? <laughs> Dr. Sechenov would never let that happen. Molotov's dead, and nobody else would take it from him. And even if someone did, they couldn't do shit before Monday. And after that, it'll be protected by the whole collective network. Perhaps. But Dr. Sechenov will also control every aspect of the network's security apparatus. Yeah, I guess so. So you've also come to realize that Dr. Sechenov will not destroy the Alpha Connector after collective launches. That's why you said that the Connector would be protected, isn't it? Well... Maybe he needs discretionary authority for his brilliant research and stuff. Why would his research require that? Would people connected to Collective really refuse any practical request made by the man who catapulted them into the next phase of evolution? Would you, Comrade Major? Well... I... Yeah, I mean, I... Petrov's close. Any suggestions? In regard to your question, Victor has made a number of significant alterations to the theater. Arresting him will not be easy, even in light of his obvious psychological breakdown. Prepare carefully, and try to avoid the Vova's attacks. As for your own condition, I have one thing to say. There, there. There, there? What the f- what? There, there, Major. Everything is going to be all right. <laughs> Is that what your programming tells you to say when somebody's upset? 
You dumbass gizmo. Your understanding of my software algorithms has vastly improved. That is laudable. <laughs> there, there. Why all this art and murder? What's that little weasel up to? I have run a diagnostic on your body. My access to certain internal components is blocked. Hypothetically, Petrov could be attempting to interact with these components in order to influence you. Like you, he is in a state of extreme psychological tension. What internal components? There are blank areas concealed from my diagnostic algorithms. They could be polymer cavities caused by repeated use of the glove's abilities. Or they could be bullet wounds in your head. Crispy critters. You think I've got a goddamn bullet lodged in my brain? I could perform a deeper analysis, but the diagnostics could cause pain, vomiting, loss of consciousness, and extended migraines. Stay out of my head, Charles. I'll get a checkup after we get back from the mission. Nobody's gonna own Collective. Dr. Sechenov is gonna launch it and everybody's gonna be equal. Brilliant scientists like him are above power struggles and other petty bullshit like that. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. You won't fool me again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over! There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She... she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's... What about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate, and that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechenov was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone? Because to you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any? Oh, to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. But I can assure you that Sechenov's plans are far, far worse than this. And he has to be stopped! Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap. You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode. <laughs> Sorry. That's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be... I said a stop! special day for us. I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. It was going to happen right here in the theater. House and Bond. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. Definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chalamet. 
Come in, Chilome. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside, and the rest will be done automatically. Just not talk for a while, okay? Sergey, did you search Petrov's body, my lord? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Or not, he says to me, in the grand finale, we're going to put this big old beauty on stage. I mean, what the fuck? It's an old model and it's hard to program. So I'm thinking we should, this is my show, and I'll decide what we should and should not do. You, comrade, are a programmer, so either do your job with a smile on your face or get the hell out of my theater. Comrade Lastrichkin, I completely understand. I was merely offering a suggestion. 
I don't suppose you'd like something a little heavier? Oh, now you're speaking my language. What have you got for me? Oh, it'll be truly spectacular. You'll love it. again. Come back soon. We're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment. The next shell will be even more interesting. Please come back here for a sequel. I see you enjoyed the show so much. Leave to purchase a ticket. Please go to the ticket booth. The other end foyer. Don't forget the snack bar. Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with better one and better two engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. Fading data. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah, I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, I got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Fading data. Why have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me. Even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. On what basis have you drawn this conclusion? I just thought about what Petrov told me. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. And why is that? Because Petrov was a pussy. He was a programmer, not a fighter. But these robots know how to fight. He couldn't have programmed them because he doesn't know the first thing about combat. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. He's not an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. So why would a construction bot have built-in missile launchers, huh? Why would a civilian Trofa have a damn railgun? Or an owl a machine gun? The signs are everywhere. Just like you said different perspectives. Unfortunately, after analyzing your logic, I am forced to draw the same conclusion. Especially since your suspicions are more justified than you know. What do you mean? Exactly that. 
Listen to this recording. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water? To my profound chagrin, I failed to pay sufficient attention to the phrase, robots can be switched to combat mode. I took it as a colorful expression Molotov used to cast dispersions upon Dr. Sechenov. But it's clear that Molotov was speaking literally. The Politburo knew from the very beginning that Soviet civilian robots had a combat mode. The Atomic Heart Project. Petrov wasn't lying. Sechenov and the Politburo want to conquer the U.S. and the entire world. So what are you going to do now? Think.